down on the construction site, Daisy the baby dumper truck is helping her Uncle Dylan. She's not very big, but she loves to help out. Oh no! Daisy's stuck in the mud! We need to help Daisy! Go, go, Tilly Tow Truck! Come on, Daisy. Let's go back to my garage and we'll take a look at your wheels. Something doesn't seem right with them. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Let's all see what we can learn as we make Daisy Dumper Truck turn. Hmm, those tyres look awfully small, even for a baby truck. They look more like car tyres to me. Tyres have tread on the outside so they can grip the ground. Small tyres have small grip to keep our cars safe on the roads. But building sites are muddy and bumpy places, so construction trucks need big tyres with big grip. Okay, Daisy, let's get the mechanicals to swap your tyres for bigger ones. Go, go, mechanicals! Red and yellow are removing baby's old, small car tyres. Green and blue are fetching some new, big construction truck tyres. Be careful there, blue. That doesn't look safe. Uh-oh. Oh, blue. You look very tired. <laughs> Let's get these tyres fitted to Daisy. Good work, everyone! Those new big tyres have much thicker tread and much better grip. It's time to get back to work at the construction site. The mechanicals are a bit bored today and they want to play with something. I've got a special surprise idea for them and Eric the Excavator's going to help! We're going to turn Eric into a theme park ride. I've designed a new attachment for Eric's boom. It's a big bucket with enough seats for all of the mechanicals. Eric will be able to pick up the bucket and spin it around and around really, really fast. I call it the Excavator Rotator. Does that sound like a fun ride, Mechanicals? Do you want to help me build the new attachment? Brilliant! Let's get to work! Finished. That looks amazing. Eric's all ready to start the ride. Are you ready, Mechanicals? Hop on board. I know you're nervous, Green, but it's perfectly safe. And you might find that you enjoy it. Go on, give it a go. I think we need a countdown from five. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one, go! That looks like great fun! Well done, Eric! 
Oh dear, Clue looks very dizzy. Watch out for those tyres. Oh dear, too late. Look at that. Green loved the ride so much that she wants another go. Well done, Green, for being brave. Bobby needs cleaning in the morning. Bobby needs cleaning in the afternoon. Bobby even needs cleaning at night time. Every morning, Bobby has to refuel with dirty diesel to power his engine. <coughs> <coughs> Ew! Bobby's fuel smells terrible. It's so dirty. <coughs> Here comes Evie, the electric car. She doesn't have any problems with dirty diesel. She's lovely. Bobby wishes he could be as quiet and clean as Evie. Evie charges up her batteries using clean energy from the sun. Hmm, I wonder. Hey Bobby, how would you like to get rid of your dirty old diesel engine and run on clean electricity instead? It's a big job, but I think the mechanicals are up for it. Let's get you into the garage and get started. Drive onto the platform and let's see what we can see. What do we need to do to make you run electrically? Go, go, mechanicals! The mechs take Bobby's engine out. Fit motors to his wheels. Install a brand new charging port. There! Let's see how that feels. Oh no, Bobby's wheels won't go. Now what have we done wrong? Of course, he needs some batteries to power him along. Energy from the sun goes into the solar panels on the garage roof. That energy travels through our charger into the batteries on an electric vehicle like Evie. Evie stores the energy in her batteries and that powers the motors in her wheels. It takes a lot of energy to power a bus, so Bobby's new batteries are very big and very heavy. Where should the mechanicals put the batteries, I wonder? How about at the back, where we took the old engine out? There's lots of room there. Oh dear, that's no good. The batteries are too heavy to all go at the back of the bus. Bobby's done a wheelie. How about we spread them out? Inside Bobby. The mechanicals might need to clear a bit of space first though. Um, mechanicals. I know you needed to make space for the batteries. But I didn't mean take all the seats out. Where are the passengers going to sit now? On the roof? Hold on a minute. On. The. Roof. Of course. Put those seats back in. I've had an idea. The best place for the batteries is up on the roof. Bobby stays balanced. There's still room for all his passengers inside. And the air going over the roof helps to keep the batteries cool and working properly. Let's install a cover over the batteries to protect them from bad weather. Perfect! Now Bobby's ready to roll. Let's get those batteries fully charged. One percent, two percent, three percent. Hmm, this charger is far too slow. Bobby has a giant battery pack, far bigger than Evie's. We need to make this electric charger into a supercharger. Let's try again. Huh, 
They don't seem to have made this charger any faster at all. What's going on? Uh-oh. It looks like the mechanicals have supercharged the wrong charger. Blue Mechanicals Charger is going crazy. Look at those numbers go. Eek! It looks like Blue Mechanicals got lots of extra energy to use up. Look at him go. Now that Blue Mechanical has helped to supercharge the charger, we should be able to charge Bobby's batteries at record speeds. It's working! Look at those numbers go! 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 percent! The mini mechanicals have finished school for the day too. They're waiting for Sammy the school bus to take them home. Here's Sammy now. Hello Sammy. Ooh, that door sounds squeaky. All aboard Mini Max. One, two, three, four, five. There, you're ready to go. Oh dear, that doesn't sound right. Poor Sammy can't open his doors. They're stuck and the mini mechs can't get out. We need to check your electrics, Sammy. Don't try and move, you might make things worse. It's a good job I was passing by with Tilly. We'll tow you to the garage. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help. A vehicle in need. Let's all see what we can learn as we make Sammy turn. Sammy's doors won't open. The mini mechs are trapped inside. But what's wrong with Sammy? Are all his electrics fried? No, it's just his door at fault. Those hinges are all rusty. Let's get the mechs to take them off and fit ones that are more trusty. Go, go mechanicals! Now the old doors have come off, the mini mechs can get out. But now all they want to do is play and run about. Careful now, don't touch that. Watch out for that hole. Red and green mechanical, get these kids under control. Green and red are struggling to keep those mini mechs from being silly. I think that they could use a hand from our friend Tow Truck Tilly. Her cargo bed can hold them safe to stop any more fuss. So we can think of what to do to help Sammy the school bus. We need to replace those old rusty doors with smooth new ones. But while we have Sammy here at the garage, I think we should install a surprise for the mini mechs to make getting off the bus more fun. There, the doors are all fixed. And the mechanicals have added an extra something special. One, two, three, four, five. Let's drive these mini mechs home so they can try out the surprise. I'll follow you in Tilly to make sure everything's working okay. Hee-hee! <laughs> That's right! It's a surprise slide! One, two, three, four, five! What a 
it's a cool way to get off the bus. I suppose you're wondering what Trevor the tractor is doing on the construction site. Well, Trevor, Ryan the wrecking ball crane and Rick the road roller were all getting bored of doing the same thing every day. So they decided to swap jobs. I hope they're getting on okay with their new tasks. Oh dear, Trevor's meant to be filling in for Rick the road roller. But he's making a huge mess. You're meant to roll over the cement, Trevor, not the barrels. Oh no, Trevor's tyres are no good for rolling roads. They're not smooth enough. It looks like Trevor's now stuck in the cement. This job swap's not going according to plan, is it? Wait, what's that noise? Ouch! Rick swapped jobs with Ryan the Wrecking Ball Crane. I'm not sure you're built for this line of work, Rick. Now Rick is in a daze, we're going to have to bandage him up. But if Rick's doing Ryan the Wrecking Ball Crane's job, then where is Ryan? Thanks to Helen the helicopter, Trevor's going back to my garage, where we'll get him out of the cement in no time. What's that, Blue? You've got a call from Green and Yellow Mechanical? Ryan's stuck under a tree down at the farm. We need to save him, quick! Mechanicals, you take Rick back to the garage. And Tilly, meet me at the farm. Don't worry, Ryan. We'll have you out of there in no time. One, two, three, pull Tilly, pull! Hooray! Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. It looks like your wrecking ball was not used to hitting big trees. But now that it's gone, we'll replace it with ease. Go, go Mechanicals! Done, Mechanicals. Now that Ryan's got a new steel ball, he can forget all about his nasty fall. Look at all of these bright green buses driving down the road. Shall we count them? There's one, two, three, four, Five green buses. 
Look out for that sharp pin. Oh dear. One green bus has got a puncture and she can't carry on. That leaves four green buses. Four green buses trundling down the road. One green bus thinks he's faster than the others. But look at that. He's gone the wrong way. That leaves three green buses. Three green buses cruising down the road. Look out for that bridge. Oh no, the double-decker bus is too tall to go under the bridge. You'd better wait there. That leaves two green buses. Two green buses driving past the beach. Look at all the mechanicals waiting at the bus stop. This green bus has to stop to pick them up. That leaves one baby bus. One green bus zooming down the lane. But who's this coming in the other direction? It's Vicky the ice cream van. Baby bus loves ice cream. She's following Vicky instead of coming to my garage. That leaves no green buses. Shall we count them one more time? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Five green buses. Hiya Max, I'm sure that we can fit you in. What seems to be the problem today? Oh, look at that. You've got something stuck in your tyre. It's a horrid rusty nail. I hope it's not hurting you too much, Max. I think the first job is to remove it. The rubber tyre is the outside part of the wheel. Max's tyre is filled with air, which keeps it hard. But if there's a hole in the tyre, it'll go flat. That's called a puncture. That hole looks very big and difficult to fix. But luckily for you, Max, I think we might have a spare wheel just the right size. What a big hole. Your tyre's all flat. It's got no air. We can't have that. We'll find a nice new wheel just for you. Let's fix you up. There. Good as new. Hang on. That's not right. That's a tiny bicycle wheel. We need something bigger than that. No! That's a car wheel. It's bigger than a bike wheel, but still much too small for Max. That lorry wheel is bigger still, but not big enough for Max. Now you're just being silly. That looks the right size, but a square wheel is no good. Wheels have to be a circle. There we go. That wheel is huge. Just right for Max the monster truck. <laughs> 